Hey there, I'm Chaz Tacular, and welcome to our sixth episode of American Arcadia. Alright, so I have a feeling that this might be the very last episode, so I don't know, my, my emotions are a bit bittersweet at the moment, but uh, let's do this. Hey. I'm still here! It ends today! Arcadia ends today! Arcadia ends today. Let's do this. <laughs> These comments over on the side are funny. Oh crap! Hold it! Where are you going? You know where I'm going. Catch me if you can! Hold it right there, subject. Oh, time to go jogging, idiots! Boiler room, okay. Subject is running through the spire basement. Hey, how's your buddy with the broken leg doing? Send him my regards. <laughs> Did you just say, you asshole? Please remember to adhere to official interceptor terminology. The shut up, this is personal. Now. <laughs> oh, now it's personal. Well, good. Oh man, Trevor is savage. I'm loving this. <laughs> come on, come on. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Yes. <laughs> Let's go, baby. <laughs> I'm loving this, this soundtrack, too. Oh, my gosh. 10-392, spotted at the Spire Japanese Garden. There he is. Oh, boy, they're trying to cut me off. Come on, one at a time, you cowards. <laughs> Oh crap, crap. I was reading comments. Unit C, prepare for frontal interception. This way. Front of my ass. 10392 <laughs> is climbing that. Uh, what is he doing? This guy's a lunatic. Oh what? yeah. You afraid of heights? <laughs> Trevor has no fear. <laughs> he is. Okay. I'll try to uh, This is insane. Okay, Trevor, you got to calm down a little bit. You, you might legitimately be insane right now. Get him before he gets inside the elevator. Oh, you're not going to get me. Go, go. Come on, come on, come on. Woo! Good evening. Uh, hello. Uh, didn't we meet at the Cygnus yesterday? Oh, yeah, you're right. How is everything? Uh, good, good. You're going to the restaurant, too? No, I'm going to the top of the Arcadia Spire to destroy the city. Oh, okay. I guess I just got a little bit tired of the good old 70s. But hey, you two enjoy your dinner. Oh my gosh. Have a good night. Bye. Welcome to the top of the This is wild. Restaurant. And I'm loving every Excuse minute me, of sir, it. Do you have a reservation? Nope. No, I, no, I do, do not. <laughs> What's going into him? And now oh, I hate that song. I hate it. Hey, it's a good song, okay? That's that's one area where I'm differing from him right now. Why are they the, why are there just giant drops in the middle of this building? The architecture in this place is wild. All units are blocking the exits. There's no escape. Yeah, yeah, I'm not afraid of you anymore. Woo! You hear that, 10-392? There's no- Not even my grandpa can jump that! <laughs> <laughs> How did he grip onto the bare wall like that? Oh my gosh! Infiltration mode on. Sneaky Trev. Ninja play style. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, they have another one of these rooms. Oh my gosh, they're actually watching me on the screen right now. What? I'm live? On TV? Really? Is everyone watching me now? Listen to me for one second. American Arcadia audience, this is not right. Your sole source of entertainment can't be other people's lives. Their lives belong to them. Our Unleash lives belong to- Run free. Oh, you Power miserable and style and balance. Don't you cut the to commercial. Work of engineering. 
Classic Person Sunlight Markovic Chrome 166 from Rush Motors. Wow. That's that's low. Oh my gosh. Okay, floor 110. How did I get up 110 floors that quick? Wow, uh, Trevor is wreaking total havoc. Yep. If I wasn't so worried about him, I have to admit I'd be enjoying this a lot. <laughs> Gotta focus. I need the keys to any of these cars so I can bypass security and make it to the spire before Trevor. Okay. Let's do this. I'm guessing I came in through that vent. Blitz Cola is kind of on... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? On... On brand. It's on brand for, for Angela. Oh. Hello? Yes. Is there like a key in here to an interceptor car that I could... Why is this place empty? Is it because they're all, uh, all hands on deck up in the spire? I'm guessing. Okay. Always vigilant. Looks like the generic version of RoboCop's prime directives. <laughs> Relentless in our pursuit. As the guardians of Arcadia's safety, the Interceptor Task Force stands unwavering in, in its commitment to protect and serve. Our elite team ensures the security of our city's streets day and night. Equipped with cutting-edge tech and specialized training, uh, we intercept any threat to maintain the peace that Arcadia deserves. Together, we forge a safer tomorrow for all visitors to and citizens of Arcadia. ITF. Security first. Okay, there's got to be some keys somewhere in here. Those are the most generic snacks I think I've ever seen in my life. A dossier on Trevor. Oh, interesting. Let's see, is there anything on this computer? Is that the same email from the last time that I... Wonderful something has taken possession of my entire soul. Okay, whatever. The elite security force in Arcadia. Join the Interceptor Task Force today. The day the running started. 11-10-23 and 11-11-23. AGN? What does that mean? INAC, outside Cygnus. Interceptors, I guess, at the checkpoint. Oh, the AGN must be the, like, the, the travel agents. And then the Interceptors took over when he got to the checkpoint, the road. Old Arcadia? And the Spire. Fascinating. Okay, I need a key. Wait, this is Marcus Javert's office. Okay. Wow, that is, uh... That's, that's a lot. His personal key! Look at that. Miss Solano, oh, what are you doing crap. here? Oh, crap. Stay, stay away from me. Stay away, or... It's over, Miss Solano. Do not come close. What does the failsafe button do? Drop the gun, Miss Solano. Tell me! Tell me, or I'll... I'll shoot you! I know when someone has what it takes to pull the trigger just by looking in their eyes. And you don't have the guts. <laughs> you weren't supposed to shoot me, you crazy bitch! Did you hear that scream? Oh, it hurts! Oh. <laughs> hey, what the... What, what happened to your Darth Vader voice, you freaking weirdo? Oh, what? Wait, I, I... Who the hell are you? <laughs> oh, okay, okay, I, I'm Terry Robinson. I'm <laughs> just an actor. What? What the fuck? But if you want to make sure that nobody leaves this city, I am your man. Okay. Cut. <laughs> How is that? I, I can do it in a different style if you like. A more like T-1000, you know? <laughs> Cold as ice. Uh, maybe a, a, a Tommy Lee Jones and the Fugitive vibe. No, I, I can do whatever you need. Uh, yeah. We'll get in touch with you in any case, Mr. Robinson. 
uh, does that mean that I got the part, or...? Uh... Um, we still have to make a decision, Mr. Robinson. Please return the jacket to the wardrobe department when you leave. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. I'm ready whenever you need me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What? Oh, what? Man. <laughs> I never should have taken this job! <laughs> Listen to me. I still have two more shots in this thing, so you better start spilling the beans or I'll fry your balls. <laughs> no, 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 take the pen drive! Everything is there! What? Pen drive? Like a thumb drive? <sighs> Pathetic. So he... What is happening? He's not even. That's why the name is like straight ripped out of freaking Les Miserables because it's, it's not even his name. He's a he's a character. I better check what's inside this pen drive. There's a computer right there. Okay, okay. No citizen of Arcadia has been harmed during the recording of these images. Jesus, how many floors have I climbed? Okay. This is it. 440. This is where Vivian's penthouse is. I should be tired, but I'm bursting with energy. All right. Why are there so many people on the penthouse floor? I, I don't know how fancy towers work. Hey, Steve Just. Does he have hey, his own lounge? Trevor Hill. <laughs> it's that crazy guy from the Central Station incident. People know me now. I'm sorry, did Jeez, that say Space Octopus? Hey, 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 calm down. Is man. that Steve Just? Calm down. Get out of my way. Take it easy, buddy. Don't do anything stupid, all right? I said, out of my way. Do you know who I am? I'm Steve Just. You're in my. Ugh. What the? Hey. Oh. I told you. Whoa. To get out of my way! Oh! And by the way, Arcadia is a TV show! So say hello to your audience, you spandex wearing idiot! Get good, Steve! Trevor Hales just punched out Steve Just! Oh my gosh! F. No, yes, F in the chat. Going to Vivian's penthouse. You're damn right I'm going to Vivian's penthouse! Vivian, you. let me in. It'll only be a second. I'll press the failsafe button, and then I'll leave. What the? Oh, this city never ceases to disappoint me. Oh, More he can, of these emitters. He Funny, can walk right can past them. The jingle, but it sounds kind of different. Now it's just annoying, but it's kind of pushing me out instead of keeping me in. Oh. Wait, where am I? You're outside of the dome, my friend. I'm out of the dome now? It's snowing. Wow, how is the camera even still on him if he's outside of the dome? Two million, 2.7 million viewers. Oh my God, he punched Steve just. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. This is serious. <laughs> Good to see you, sir. Thank God for tinted windows. 10392 is inside, sir. We got all our units after him. Thanks for the info, assholes. Wait, oh. so may the Walton Mobile rest in peace. So the interceptors oh, still on the right track. call Javert sir, even though he's just an actor. Are the interceptors all actors? Is everybody an actor except for Angela? And I guess the Arcadian born citizens. I am so confused right now. Yep. We're going up. We're going down. Let's uh, go wherever that is. <sighs> really? Kendra, that number I'm six. in a little bit of a hurry right now, so Kendra. it was you all along, right? Admit it. You have been helping Trevor Hills escape. You leaked those images to the press. 
Have you seen the damage you've done? Admit it. Admit it now. Kendra, admit what? What are you talking about? Uh, you know what? It's over. You are fired, Angela. <sighs> you know what, Kendra? I would gladly take my severance package and leave this shithole you call a company, but that would prevent me from suing Walton Media. <laughs> oh boy, I guarantee you I am suing all your asses, so I quit. What? And now that I don't work for you, here's something that I've wanted to tell you for a long time. You are a despotic, egotistic, and miserable human being, and the worst boss I have ever had! Oh, you better take that back immediately, or I'll... Or, 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 or what? I no longer work for Walt Media. So what are you gonna do with me now, huh? You pathetic corporate lackey! How dare you! I am going to... Vete pal carajo! I'm not even sure I want to know what that means. Okay, 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 let's focus. Trevor, Ooh. where are you now? This is, uh... <laughs> this is a crazy episode. Oh, man. Team Trevor. Yep. Man, why is her penthouse so, like, hard to get to? Or is it just that the failsafe button is this hard to get to? Oh, hey! There's Angela! <laughs> Smile, Trevor, you're on TV! Trevor, here! Look at me! Oh, shit, he can't hear me! This is so wild! Okay, okay. Is... Are we about there? Quick, quick, quick! I have to get there with this pen drive! Wait, yeah, so what's on the pen drive? Let's show the truth to everybody! No citizen of Arcadia has been harmed during the recording of these images. Over three million viewers now. Oh, now what are you gonna do? You wanna shoot me? You wanna kill me? Here? Live? Just try it! I can see the top of the tower. I'm almost there. Made it, Kovacs! Top of the spire! Like, I'm, I'm actually speechless right now. This is so crazy. The fail safe button. Finally. Okay. Well, hashtag press it. Or hashtag do not press it. Yes, no. Come on, audience. Give me something to work with here. Destroy Arcadia, save Arcadia. I'm just going to press Viewers it. Viewers of American Arcadia. My name is Trevor Hills. I'm a 28-year-old account manager with no friends and a boring life that nobody gives two shits about. And I'm here to tell you to enjoy these last minutes because your favorite show is getting canceled today. Nothing happened. Well, now what? Trevor, you are live in front of the American Arcadia audience, and you are the first citizen to escape from Arcadia, a thrilling brand new American Arcadia spin-off where citizens finally manage to break the fourth wall and escape to the outside world. Each week, a new citizen will find out the truth. And Trevor Hills, a 28-year-old account manager from the Poinciana Drive District, is our first fugitive. Now, let's see a recap of Trevor's run. What? This is Trevor Hills. Trevor lived a quiet and peaceful life in Arcadia. Little did he know that his world was about to be turned upside down very soon and very fast. It all began when his co-worker Gus Rainey won the Edge Travel Grant. Nothing out of the ordinary. 
But just a few days after Gus disappeared, some very strange things. Wait, wait, wait. What? What is this? This is Trevor Hills. No, no, no. It's Angela. She's been oh. a teaser trailer During his two-day run, Cut it. Trevor has been the Cut protagonist of yet another example of how Walton Media feeds a degrading spec. We'll be right back. Major screw up. What? <laughs> who was in charge of all of this? And who thought it was a good idea to give that guy all the information? He's just a damn actor, for God's sake. Hold on a second, Trevor. I don't know. Let me talk with him. I said I'll talk with him, okay? We'll find a way. Jesus, I'm surrounded by idiots. What the hell was all that? I told you. The only way to escape from Arcadia is by pressing the failsafe button. So, here we are. This is Escape from Arcadia, the thrilling brand new American Arcadia spin-off where citizens finally manage to break the fourth wall and get to the outside world. What? Congratulations. You are the first official Arcadia fugitive. Well, you won't be so happy when we bring everything you've done to light. Breakout knows everything. I would not put much faith in Breakout doing anything, but best of luck with that, Trevor. We are counting on you. I called it! Wait, wait, what is this? Another one of the show's I called lies? it! Not at all. Breakout, number six, they're not lies. Just, um, you know, controlled dissidents. Can't say the same about Vivian Walton, though. My real name is Emily Garland. I was one of the six people who escaped Arcadia many years ago. In fact, if you look at some of the leaked pictures, you might even see my face. When we got out, we found a breakout. We tried to fight against Walton Media, and do you know what happened? After living a few years in the outside world, I begged them to let me back inside. And since Don Walton had died and the company needed a new face to reconnect with the audience, Elijah Walton's lost granddaughter popped up out of nowhere, and they got a popular TV host for American Arcadia for the same price. You sellout. You did this for money? Even when you had been a, a prisoner in here? Hey, it wasn't just me. The six of us reached an agreement, an amount both sides considered acceptable. And about being a prisoner, well... Let's just say that's how I knew the most interesting thing that ever happened in Arcadia was our escape. And by the looks of it, I wasn't wrong. You should see the audience ratings. Woo! Through the roof! My god, how... How could... How could you have done all this? Trevor, I don't think you have the full picture. Has Angela told you about how life is out there? Gun violence, addictions, poverty, political corruption, healthcare costs? God, I thought I was locked in a cage, but when I got out, I realized I'd been living in Eden. Well, I don't care. I want to live a, a real life. I want to get out. Do you understand that? I want to get out. Out of where? Look around you. When have you seen snow in Arcadia? You are already out. Oh, and best of luck, because it's 2023 out there and you're almost, what, 30? You don't have any employable skills, and you know nothing about the real world. So that's it, Trevor. You're free to leave. Bye bye Don't let the door hit you. Or... Wow. What? Or we reach an agreement. An amount both parts consider acceptable. Enough for you to start a new life wherever you want. Just all I ask is that you talk to the American Arcadia audience. Say your life was never really at risk. That's a lie. You've tortured me, you brainwashed me, you almost killed me, I could have died! Don't be so dramatic. Everything was under control, except for a few minor things, and technically those were Angela's actions, not ours. You were the one guiding Angela! Jesus. What kind of a monster are you? Listen, I know things would be easier if I were some sort of a soap opera villain that you could blame everything on. But I'm not the villain. Not me, not Walton Media, or that pathetic B-movie actor that Angela tased. 
No. It's them, Trevor. The audience. They're the villains. They didn't give a shit about your life until you started having a really miserable time. And look at it now, Trevor. You are the most popular person in Arcadia by far. And what? You need the most popular person in Arcadia to fix your screw up? <laughs> Trevor, honestly, one sorry ass edited video isn't going to prevent Escape from Arcadia from becoming a hit. The audience is quick to forget, especially ours. Having said that, we have invested considerable time and money in this publicity stunt. And we don't want the show to start off on the wrong foot. So, my advice from one Arcadia fugitive to another? Take the big pile of money, say thank you, and leave. Think about it. Yeah, I think we're good. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yep, I believe he's ready to talk. You have a lot more confidence in him than I do. Hello, we're back, live from the top of the Arcadia Spire. As promised, Trevor Hills, our first Arcadia fugitive, has something to clarify about his exciting run. <laughs> wow. Trevor, why did you do what you did in that moment? Oh. That. Yeah. Well, Vivian made a poor choice of words. What? Do the right thing here, son. Don't be a fool. So when is... Uh, don't be a fool. Well, so when is the present day? Leave me the fuck alone! After two days on the run, Trevor Hills is finally released from Arcadia. Despite his popularity, he now enjoys a quiet and peaceful life in a small midwestern town. Angela Solano has sued Walton Media for legal contract and privacy law violations. The case has settled financially before reaching court. With the settlement money, Angela and Trevor founded American Arcadia and Escape from Arcadia are still on the air. Today, the audience of both shows is soaring higher than ever before. Wow. Wow. Is this Don't Be a Fool? Is this the song? Dang, Trevor looks good with a goatee. Kovacs and the cat. Nice. Huh. Breakout denies any ties to Walton Media amid Solano Hills documentary controversy. Which I guess is what we just played, was the documentary. Huh. Okay, I can't read Spanish, so I don't know what's going on here. The Rise of the Average Joe. like an actual Spanish game? Huh. <laughs> oh my gosh. The jingle is declared legal by the Supreme Court. What? Wow. Terrence Robinson and Apocalyptosaurus 5. The final battle between man and dinosaur has begun. Oh man. <laughs> That's amazing. Employee of the month. December, Zach Wilson. I 
Traitor Among Us. Walton Girls Forever by Kendra Tomlin. <laughs> oh man. I'm loving this song. Are baby farms real? Walton Media denies all claims. Escape from Arcadia. Steve is next. Oh no. Whoa. Hello. You think there'll be a repercussion when we release the documentary? I, I don't have much faith in people opening their eyes. Who knows? We will see, buddy. Did you hear Vivian's last statement? You think they're really gonna sue? No, I doubt they want to go to court again. They definitely know that everything in our documentary is the truth. So, this is a stalemate. Yeah, I guess it is. You know what still amazes me? How could Vivian experience the same shit that you did and still sell her soul? Well, she didn't have you. Oh, <laughs> look at you. I knew that deep down you're nothing but a big sweet teddy bear. I never said I'm not affectionate. So are they a thing? It a little while for me to let people in. Hey, stop picking on me, okay? That thing you wanted to see is starting. Oh, talking about selling a soul. My name is Steve Just. I was the most popular person in Arcadia. Wow, Steve Just has been Trevorfied. Recently, <laughs> I found out the truth. You didn't find out anything, you jackass. I told you. After you punched <laughs> him in the face, which I have to admit was super hilarious. I'm, I'm not exactly proud of that. My life had been nothing but a <laughs> lie. Now, under the alias Kovacs, I help others. Kovacs? Oh, come on. They even stole that from us. Let's come up with something original, you assholes. Wow. Escape from Arcadia. Sundays at 8 p.m. What a crock of shit. Enough already. Turn it off, Ange. Well. I guess that's the end. It can't just be over. That was, that was a good experience. Wow. Yeah, I'm I'm speechless. That was crazy. Well, there you have it. American Arcadia. That was a wild ride there at the end. Oh my gosh. If you liked what you saw, please drop a like down below. Please drop a comment letting me know uh, what you thought of American Arcadia and uh, what you want me to do next. I'm thinking about maybe giving uh, Out of the Blue Games other title, Call of the Sea. A look here soon that might be fun let me know if you want me to do that please subscribe to stick around and see my other content anyway thanks for watching and in case I don't see you good afternoon good evening and good night I used to have a mundane life all right Just so I decided to go and, uh, achievement I, hunting I like after I got done recording and I but came across this I little gym here began about two weeks before that dreadful day so rather than uh, hitting the alarm immediately, you have to wait a minute, and then this happens. Boy, I was really sleepy that morning. It took me forever to get up. And considering <laughs> I had to get to the monorail station at 7.50, I was really running late. Um, Mr. Hills, we don't have all day. You can skip the minor details. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, sorry, I'll get to the point. <laughs> Good morning, Arcadia. <sighs> Today we're enjoying a splendid uh, temperature of 77.1 degrees. Okay, so for this next achievement, you have to input Here genes, now IP, instead of Kendra's. Okay, so it's 190, 114. Uh, 105, 66. So that's Gene's IP number. Oops, I think I hacked Gene's computer. Well, he won't be needing it after I'm done with Kendra anyway. <laughs> so now I put in hers. Sorry for interrupting another hard day of procrastination. And let's go look at Gene's computer. Just a couple seconds, and here it comes, directly from the server room. Gene Win, the admin guy. Hey, Gene. 
Hey, Gene. Gene. I really owe you one, man. All right, let's see what's on his computer. I probably shouldn't do this, but <laughs> let's peek in Gene's PC. Playing goblins and gravestones online in working hours? <laughs> You've got some nerve, Gene. My kind of guy. Okay, let's see what's next. All right, so the next one is uh, after I crawl through this vent when Vivian is on the screen and Trevor finds out for the first time that she's horrible. His name is Trevor Hills, and a boring life that nobody gives two shits about. My God, you're so mean, Vivian. Anyway, let's take five and we'll record it in one go, okay? Okay, so now we wait. She will apparently come back after about two minutes. So that's another achievement in the bag and some more content for us to watch. So I'll bring you back when she comes back. Oh. My fellow citizens, we have a new Edge Travel Grant winner. His name is Trevor Hills, a 28-year-old account manager at INAC. Remember, you can apply for the Edge Travel Grant, too. The only requirements are that you must be of legal age and have an insatiable wanderlust. Request the application form via ordinary mail or aid in it. Okay, cut. All right, see you tomorrow then. And remember, teamwork makes the dream work. All right, there you go. All right, so the next achievement has to do with this room. Okay, so there is apparently a key at section AA2 right over here. Hey! Huh. This key just appeared out of the blue. The meta reference is the name of the achievement. And appeared out of the blue. Out of the blue studios? I'm on to you. If I had to guess, that probably has to do with Call of the Sea. Which I'm getting even more intrigued to play now. But alright, let's go to the next one. Miss Solana. Alright, so the next one happens Is during this scene. Angela or Anna? I just have fine. to pick different uh, uh, options than I Angela. picked last time. Fine. Let's proceed. According to you. Which one of the following is or has been the most influential figure in Arcadia? Arpad Kovacs. Arpad Kovacs? A revealing answer. I'll make note of that. Revealing? What do you mean by that? Loading the next question. Please stay silent. Which one of the following images best describes your five years, eight months, and seven days of work at Walton Media? Uh, the jail door. The shut jail door. Interesting. Let's proceed. Loading the next question. What does the initiative known as Breakout mean to you? I uh, love. They are an NGO in favor of the liberation of the citizens of Arcadia. Are you sure you want to answer that? You can change your answer if you'd like. Nope. Mm, no. No, I want to keep my answer. A controversial opinion, definitely. Loading the next question. Refrain from selecting the image that does not match your personal preferences or likings. What? What? I apparently got that right last time. Cocktail? I don't think you understood what I was asking you. But let's go on. Please indicate which one of the following patterns you consider the easiest to recognize. I also got that one right last time. Yellow and orange comet pattern? Or wrong, okay. rather. Oh, just one thing before the final question, Miss Solano. If you lied to me with any of your answers, I will know. Does Subject 10392 Clear Text Trevor Hills mean anything to you? Oh yeah, I know him. Yes, he's in my assigned citizen's grid. You remember the name of a single citizen of the 712 that you have been assigned? Interesting. <laughs> That's, uh, because I have a good memory, and, uh... Let's see us to activist. Fail a test miserably. Did, did I pass the test, or...? I will contact you again as soon as I have verified the results. 
See, knowing what I know now, it's not and surprising that that didn't actually fail me. Because they already know. Alright, going to the next 12. one now. Okay, so this next one is pretty minor. But basically I have to cross the street without using the CCTV camera as an aid. Okay. So... I hate my life! Hey! Did it in one try! Nice! Frogger, cross the road without any help. Alright, see you at the next one. Welcome home, Angela Solano. Alright, so this next one uh, actually requires some steps. At last. Now I need to convert and it the involves video and go back to code again to recover my admin the cat and check on Trevor too. Probably have to wait until after this phone call. Good luck, Kovacs. We are counting on you. All right, so the first thing I have to do is interact with this cat three times. Hola, Tali. Que pasa, mi cielo? ¿Quién es la más linda? ¿Eh? Eres tú la más linda. <laughs> you know that it's actually moving like a I cat does. It's not as creepy. No. Okay, maybe the cat isn't that bad. Okay, so I interacted with it three times. Let's move on to the next thing. Um, so this I'm, next one involves right opening now, the door for Kendra oh, before she opens it, be it herself. Oh, and then after that, I'll be able to do the next part of the cat achievement. What about my escape plan? Do you have it written down somewhere visible? There we go. And now I will open the door. Yep. Angela. Hello. Hi, Kendra. What happened? Is everything okay? Yeah, I just need to check some things. Do you mind if I take a look around? Go around ahead. my apartment? Yeah, it'll just be a second. Okay, so now after Kendra leaves, I can do the Angela, please come next here. part of the cat what achievement. What is this all about? Have a nice evening, Kendra. All right, now Don't for the next part of the cat achievement. Fuera. De mi casa. So have to come like up here right and interact right. with uh, it again. Yeah, that's no problem. <laughs> sort of. Uh, I owe you yeah, one, That's man. no problem. Wait, you owe me? Come on, Angela. No, really. Thank you, Trevor. Maybe you have to wait until You're that's over. Guy. Okay, well, I am going back to my computer now. Now I'll try. Estás durmiendo, mi princesita gatita. <laughs> oh. Okay, it's growing on me. On to the next one! Okay, so this next one involves... tricking this guy. I am a target. Oh, no! Surrender now! Well, after tricking him to fall. I have to come over here and check on him. Hey, man! Uh, are you okay? Ugh, I broke my leg, you asshole! Yep, looks like you're okay. See ya! <laughs> Occupational hazards. Achievement get. Alright, to the next one! Alright, part three of the cat. These guys are crazy! They're gonna kill me! <laughs> Two hours after the crash. It's been almost two hours, and I still don't know where Trevor is. Hello, kitty cat. Alright, I got it. Crazy cat lady. Woo! Now, what comes next? So this next one takes place in the room where you get Pentagon level access in the, in the hexagon. So one of these computers should have something on it. Is it this one? Aha! We should have asked for directions. 
I thought we were going the right way. Sorry, I... I somehow got lost, Nora. One of these days, you're going to get lost for good. And I'll have to come find you, old pal. Oh, what a lovely couple. Alright, dear old pals. To the next one! Okay, so this next one is called TPK. Which you get by tasing every single one of these guys. So where I got it wrong last time is that you can't let this guy catch you. Because if he does, then it resets and none of the people you had tased will have been tased. Why is this door beeping so loud? Stop uh -oh. beeping, damn it! Hexagon, drone to core hall 40B. Drone to core hall 40B. Come on. Drone to 40B. My timing could have been better. On? Come on. What? I no! There we go, TPK. Get even. On to the next one. Okay, so here's the next one. Apparently, once I go inside the screen uh, during the hallucination, I should be able to yeah, bring Earth? up the CCTV screen. This is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> what a trip. Quick, quick, quick! I have to get there with this pen drive. Okay, so this next one happens uh, right here. So normally you would run straight from the elevator to this computer and put in the pen drive. But if you go through this vent... Hold on a second. This is exactly where number six was located. Ah. Yeah, you can apparently discover okay. something a little bit early yes, here. Yes, I'm, I'm heading to the stage now. We'll be live in a couple minutes. What the? What is she doing here? Uh huh. Oh my God! So you're not in there? There we go. Master plan. Ugh! I've been blindly following all of his, the, her instructions. Yep. She is indeed number six. Which in a normal playthrough you would figure out in a couple minutes anyway. She changed the plan because I asked her to get to the hexagon? Oh, interesting. Yep, so... There of it course is. Gus is not dead. He's a damn NPC. Wait. Gus was an NPC? One of our finest and most veteran NPCs. His disappearance should be used by Agent Kovacs as the hook to extract 10392. Keep all information about him hidden from Agent Kovacs? What? Okay, and of course they're both NPCs. That just blew my mind. Wow, that doesn't even have anything to do with the, uh, with the achievement. She fabricated everything from an urban legend. Wait, the interceptors aren't even real? Oh my goodness. <laughs> so all of the interceptors are actors. They're all NPCs. That's crazy. Fancy Jingle had an extra step. Press the button. Oh no. Uh, okay, yeah. The day the running started. <laughs> they even had a name for Trevor's run. That's crazy. All right, well, there you go, folks. All right, so that was all of the achievements that I missed in my first playthrough. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed this game. There was a lot to it. Uh, I, I enjoyed the lore. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking I might have to visit Call of the Sea uh, sometime soon. So subscribe to stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.